Hello friend, Mormo here. Thanks so much for watching my movie about building a team on LinkedIn and uh, it's going to be really great and let's jump over to the laptop. Keep watching, keep watching. Hello friend, here we are on my LinkedIn page. There's my name. It says video production on Gum on Gumroad and YouTube. And I'm going to change that tonight. Open to work as show host, actor and influencer roles. Okay, so I'm going to change something about my um, LinkedIn profile that I think is going to help me on LinkedIn. So my headline is going to be, my headline is mentally challenged filmmaker, anything helps. Okay, friend, I'm here with Rob Zombie Chick 420 and we're talking about LinkedIn tonight. And uh, I'm trying an experiment on LinkedIn, you know. Okay, so I'm trying to get my movies on TV, on like streaming TV channels. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to network on LinkedIn with showbiz people to like get ahead and get on streaming and everything, you know. Mm, like Tubi. Yeah, I'd love to get on Tubi or even. I feel like it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be hard. Like, I mean, they got some pretty fucking shitty movies on there. So, <laughs> if if they can be on there, I don't see why any of your movies couldn't be on there. Yours actually have, you know, way better, way better. <laughs> For sure. And real quick, I'm on your video, your um, Jason uh, synopsis video. Oh yeah, um, I love I love making those videos. Yeah, it was an awesome video. I loved watching it and being a part of it. But I'm gonna share it on LinkedIn real quick. Hell yeah! So you have some skin on the game in the game as we uh, network on LinkedIn tonight. Hell yeah! I, I gained like three or four subscribers today. I saw that you're at 106 already. You're growing faster than I'm growing right now. Oh, you're, you're so way above me. <laughs> yeah, I, I got more subscribers than you, but you're growing at a faster rate than I am. Hmm. Right on, there we go. Please. And my headline is Mentally Challenged Star Anything Helps. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? I love it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the uh, synopsis for Friday the third. The, the next synopsis, the, the, the stuff you recorded for me, I'm gonna probably do that tonight. Did that <laughs> come out all right? That second part I did, or? Mm -hmm. It was good. Right on. I'm just gonna smoke some weed real quick before we get started. Fucking, I don't know what I did. I, I smoked my bong because I don't know what the fuck I did with my bowl. I don't know what I, I think I left it outside and now it's gone. Oh, that sucks. Fucking birds goddamn took off with it. Maybe a hood Bastard. rat got it. Probably. I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <Little> bastards. <laughs> Take my shit. That's how it is, man. I, I always tell you, no matter how low you get in life some motherfucker out there wants to scrape the resin out of your bowl you know what i mean if I you got nothing left somebody wants to pick through your fucking trash you know what i'm saying i swear it's like the survival of the fittest anymore yeah right on let's do this oh do you know who tony timpone is they sound familiar He's, uh, he used to run Fangoria Magazine back in the day. He's a big huh. celebrity in the horror niche. And he liked my post today on LinkedIn. 
Nice. Yeah, this guy, Robert Galuzzo, he worked on a um, psycho, a psycho documentary. Mm -hmm. Psycho Legacy, I think it's called. Oh, I've, I've heard of the Psycho Legacy documentary, but I never watched it. He shows up. He shows up on my LinkedIn mm -hmm. all the time. Producer and director at Analog Love LLC. So he's a producer. He could help me. Hmm. They really helped me out this year. So I'm gonna okay. say. I need I need to get back into Gumroad and check it out. Yeah, now that you got a laptop, I think you could upload to Gumroad a lot easier. Psycho is an awesome franchise. I like Psycho, uh, the remake. Everybody shits on that one because of Vince Vaughn. Yeah, I didn't care for that. <laughs> I'm like probably the only person on earth that likes the Psycho remake. I saw it on the big screen, didn't care for it. <laughs> like this movie. That was me. That was me when the uh, the Child's Play remake came out. I was so excited to see it. The trailer, I'm like, don't know how I feel about this. I I, I don't know. Watch the movie. I almost stood up in the theater and said, fuck this movie. Really? Yeah, the Child's Play remake is hands down the worst remake of all time. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. So I commented, Psycho is an awesome franchise. I watched part two on VHS with my dad. Mr. Lobo, you, have, you ever heard of him, Mr. Lobo? Yeah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Mr. Lobo, yeah, I know Mr. Lobo. I'm hook, I'm a friend connected to him on LinkedIn. He's, his headline is co-founder at Outer Space International. Hmm. Tonight we attempt simulcasting on both YouTube and Twitch. I didn't like Twitch. Yeah, I didn't like Twitch either. I canceled my account. Yeah, I, I just, I don't really get the hype behind it. I don't like the way it's laid out. Um, so. This guy said he was cut out of the Fallout episode too. <laughs> I still haven't watched that yet. I'm in a heart. And say congrats, bro. Yeah, I haven't watched it either. I barely watch TV anymore. The only time I'm watching TV is like if Raw or Wrestling's on that, and I barely watch it live anymore. Like I'll watch the clips on YouTube. I just don't got time to sit down and watch three hours of wrestling. Yeah. Well, the only time I, I would do that is for WrestleMania, like the Royal Rumble, like the special events, but just like regular old show, I'm just nah, I can't do that. Nobody wants to distribute Francis Ford Coppola's new movie, Megalopolis. What know what it's about. I'm not sure. Just no way to position this movie, it says. Hmm. I wish Warner Bros. Who owns Friday the 13th right now? The um, Warner Brothers? I think the rights went back to the writer of the original screenplay. Well, he needs to get his shit out of his ass and fucking make another movie. Or sell it. Do something with it. Yeah, I think the only thing that's happening is that um, prequel series on Hulu or something. Fuck that fucking prequel series. I don't want to see no fucking little Jason fucking getting bullied the whole fucking eight episodes that's fucking that's not i just don't understand why would you make a prequel series about that <laughs> yeah like, I'd rather i see... mean fuck yeah it's a real shame what happened with that i hate when people get too happy the same thing happened with the misfits they all got too happy i'm gonna say wow i'm in the same boat even 
predatory. Yeah, the uh, the second episode of uh, the Friday the 13th synopsis video <clears throat> hopefully be coming out. I would like to get it out by tomorrow because um, I'm going to have Rambo react to both of them. Oh, right on. Because those will definitely boost the fucking... Rambo, I'm telling you, having Rambo react to your videos is like a blessing. Like, it fucking helps out so much. Yeah, he does such great work, too. Mm -hmm. So he I does said, it wow. Smart. I said, wow, I'm in the same boat. Even predatory distributors don't want my stuff. <laughs> Speaking of distributor, not really distribute, but a company um, that just has fallen from grace is Best Buy. Yeah. Now they sell lawnmowers. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? Like, they got rid of their whole movie selection and put lawnmowers there. That's dumb. Who would go to Best Buy to buy a lawnmower? <laughs> you go That's to, like, what I'm saying. Like, you go to Home Depot know. or Lowe's. Something like that for a, for a lawnmower. I'm surprised they're not out of business, honestly. Will, will the Geek Squad mow your lawn for you, I wonder? <sighs> At, next time I go to Best Buy, I'm like, can Geek Squad come mow my lawn? Because <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, you got lawnmowers here? Like, they're not going to know what the fuck to do with a lawnmower. Yeah. Audrey Knox says, Screenwriters spend so much time striving, working, and hoping. Have you celebrated your wins lately? Here are some wins to celebrate. I'm gonna follow her. Um, what's a win I've had lately? Damn. A win for me has been uh, just being myself, I say. Oh, I'll write that. Just being myself is a win on the waterfront 70 years later <laughs> oh it's a book about on the waterfront huh never read that I'll like it I'll say <laughs> Sounds like an awesome book. What is his headline? Screenwriter, producer. Oh wow. What? Oh never mind. I thought I thought his production company was called Fail River, but it's Fall River Boy Productions. <laughs> I'll follow him. I have like over 500 connections, but they're from years and years ago. People might not be active on LinkedIn anymore. I didn't even know what LinkedIn was until you told me. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of like Facebook, but for professionals to like hmm. find jobs and shit. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was even a thing. Oh, I'm surprised more people don't use that. Hart Fisher. I talked to this guy on the phone one time. Owner, operator of American Horrors. He owns a Roku ch channel called American Horrors. Mm -hmm. Look, LinkedIn, stop pushing AI on me to write my bullshit posts. It's dishonest. <laughs> I wonder, like, you could put the the Fell House movies on your Roku. Yeah, we'll we'll look before we get off tonight. I'll uh, I'll show you what I got on um Roku. Oh, oh, on my Roku channel. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I probably could. That's not a bad idea. And then you could promote it. Be like, hey, check out my streaming service on Roku. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, definitely. I should do then that. you could like put on your art cards, like um, check out my Roku channel where you can stream my movies. 
Yeah, the only problem with that is that um, it would I it would it would cost me money and I wouldn't make any money. Mm. Damn, that sucks. How much is it to have a Roku channel on there? Like the to have an unpopular channel, it's pretty cheap. It's like I pay like maybe six bucks a month or something. But that's only because nobody's really watching my channel. Um, if I had a bunch of people watching it, it would be it would cost a lot more. Oh, so the more people that watch, the more you have to spend. Yeah, you have to pay for hosting and stuff, or or you can join um, Vimeo and pay yearly, but mm. you're you're paying either way, you know. I feel bad. I kind of wish I could hook up with uh, some like mom and pop Roku channel, you know, or that'd maybe, be dope. Maybe like a, like several of them, hook up with all of them, and then promote their channel. Be like a content and marketing partner with some of these smaller channels or something. Right. The other thing I could do is show, I could show my um, fail house movies, but I could re-edit them and put ads in them, there you run, go. My, run my own ads to like money making offers, you know? There you go. You're good at that's your best thing. I think that'd be good. Yeah. So I could always you, you, do that. You, you definitely could be like a spokesperson, like for like a commercial, like a commercial, like if somebody had like a like those old commercials, like in the '90s and the early 2000s, like hey, buy this. You know, I see, I could see you being doing that for sure. Do you remember Matthew Lesko, the guy who had question marks all over his suit? Yeah, I, I want to be like that guy on streaming TV. That'd be dope. Could get you a suit with question marks on. That would be awesome. And, um, the, uh, I've been seeing ads for the Roku channel. Man, the Roku channel has a lot of good shit on it, a lot of good shows and movies and stuff. Right, so, if I do start watching TV again, I'll have to check out the Roku channel for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised out, cable bro. is still even a thing. Yeah, maybe I could try and get on the Roku channel. Roku channel. Yeah, it's hard to believe people do still do on um, cable and satellite. Yeah, and people pay those outrageous prices. I'm like, it's not worth it anymore. Like, you get you get way better doing streaming than fucking cable or satellite. <laughs> Sybil Danning is somebody I'm uh, connected with on LinkedIn. She's a famous actress. Oh, here she is with Samuel L. Jackson. I'm going to say, wow, you are an icon the Miami Film Festival welcomed happy clothes last week and we had a great time she's Otto Cento Films Del Delente Productions Uh, wow I, I just want to uh, I don't know if this is in every state but in I just want to give Plant Parenthood a shout out they are amazing they're amazing people yeah I'm pretty sure I've donated to them before I need to donate to them like I, they are so sweet I fucking they were amazing amazing people 
damn distribution is a problem for a lot of people apparently not just me i've just noticed that I, I, it's really hard for for like movies like that or any like here recently like oh why is it not getting a wide release like there's some movies that are really good that don't get wide releases and it's ridiculous like the toxic avenger remake yeah i'm like what the fuck ever happened to that like it's <laughs> I know the original made a ton of money, so you'd think you'd think it would be money in the bank for a distributor who could get it on big screens, you know? Yeah, like I was, I'm like, when's it coming out? And, it, and then I saw that it's supposed to come out last year, and it did. Like it was at a film fest or something, and then it never was talked about again. Like I, I hope they don't try to shelve it or not, because I want to see it. Yeah, studios do that now. If if they lose money on the film, they won't even release it. They'll just write it off as a tax it cut. Put it in the in the vault or something, so that they can get a tax write off. That's what they did with Jason X. It was shelved for like a year or two, and then they released it. Damn. But Jason X is a fucking classic. It it didn't deserve that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I know. I saw it on the big screen, and I really enjoyed it. Everybody shits on that fucking movie, and I'm like, oh, it's so good. I got two classes I want to go to this month. There's going to be a nude figure drawing class and a... Uh, um, oh, there's three classes I want to go to. The nude figure drawing... There's going to be an art card class and a um, um, cosplay figure drawing. That sounds fun. I'd like to go to that. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky to be able to be involved with stuff like that. But And uh, it's definitely fun. My I might have to check out LinkedIn. Is it is it is it an app you, or is it on like a desktop? Both. Both. All right. I, I have the app on my phone. That's what I scroll on now. Nice. Article and cool website. I decided it was too pretentious to say mentally challenged filmmaker. I don't want to get into that argument and have people <laughs> people are going to so get canceled, you know? Right. Oh, that's not a real movie. That's what the critics say. What's not a real movie? The, the, the ones that I make and, the, like, the ones that you make and stuff. Bullshit. There are real movies. Like, fuck them. I hate people that, like, is all, if it's over, like, 50 minutes, like, if it's, like, a, about, about 50 to, like, longer than that, it's, it's a legit movie. For sure. That's how I feel, too. I, th I think, I don't know if I want to, I think I'm going to, like, should I, like, what do you think I should do? You think I should um, do the Friday the 13th videos and then combine them into a feature length? Yeah, I, I was thinking that earlier today, actually, that that would be so awesome. So you think I should wait and let Rambo just do it all in one, like, you know, feature length and all that? Yeah, maybe, and then... Mm -hmm. um, I'd still like to see Mormo versus Gingerweed Man, where you just oh, that, that's still happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick back up on that next month for sure. Right on. April's been kind of shitty months. Well, good and bad because I had the I owed like four hundred dollars to taxes. It was ridiculous. That really fucked everything up for me. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, like I was gonna get some shit like piercings, tattoo, and then the fucking. Here's for you at oh four hundred dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> right on. So hopefully tonight, all these comments I left will show up on LinkedIn, and somebody will. I'll get make more connections. And so, what are you gonna call this movie? LinkedIn. 
I think I'm calling it how to build a dream team. That's what's up. Yeah, because I was think I was trying to think of something I'm good at that I could teach other people. I, f I feel like uh, if do like you should do like separate like do like individual like like this like with the other team members like Chris and Toxic and all that. I think that'd be like and then put them in as well. I think that'd be cool. I'm gonna say I love to get. A uh, grant. Maybe you can get a. Uh, what's that one bitch's name that got arrested recently? Elisa. Elisa Jordan? Yeah. Pagano, whatever the fuck her last name is. Get her in the movie. Shh. That probably would sell some copies, I bet. Oh, probably. Like, people are like, oh, that's the bitch that smacked that person. Yeah. I'm like, For I saw that video. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, Former bitch, you're Howard. like, I don't blame him. That's ridiculous. You do not put your hands on somebody. You know, fuck who you are. <laughs> he was saying he thought he might have broke his nose. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, he had every right to do what he did. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that bitch. I don't need clout bad enough to go try and get clout from her. Yeah, she's fucking, she's probably, like, top tier, probably, like, one of the worst people. <laughs> big fan I need to write better comments than that but I'm starting to burn out al already <laughs> I feel that Why? oh there's a new Matrix movie being developed at Warner Brothers I've never seen any of them I have no desire to watch them yeah I worked at a theater when Matrix 1 was on the big screen and there was a Marilyn Manson song playing during the credits. So I would always time it and clean the theater while that Marilyn Manson song was playing. That's funny. Was I like to work at the theater, but I don't think they're gonna be around much longer. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be around much longer either. I need to, I'm going to film, uh, yeah, next month I'm going to be filming some more scenes for the Ginger Weed Man movie. I don't know when I want to release it, though. That's the question. I don't know when I want to release it. Like, the full movie once, well, I got to get stuff more filmed and shit, but I don't know what would be, like, probably, I feel like, when's the next 420 post to happen? Um, five days. Oh, shit. Well, we'll do the next four twenty. <laughs> no, four days for you since it's past midnight. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm down. Um, I know more. I still think it would be a good idea to add some of those um evil bong reviews into the movie. Yeah, that would make it a lot longer. I'm gonna do that. And then just dub mu music over them and put a filter on them or something so it's not duplicate content. Right. I, that's a good idea. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, that's a good idea. I could. Hmm. I'm debating. I, wish I, could I still need Grady to film some shit. I so wish I could speed up videos the way you do. Uh, you're talking about the. Um, yeah, do you have. Uh, there's an app. Ah, well, you don't use your phone to edit. You use your laptop, right? Yeah. I think they still have, might have an app on the laptop. How old is your laptop? Does it have apps on it, or is it just like... Yeah, it has apps on it. Um, okay. I then tried you to be able to use that. And, and it didn't work. It made my voice all high pitch and stuff. When I sped it mm -hmm. up, it messed up my voice. You, the... The app you use worked perfectly, and if you I'll speed it up 0.5 on YouTube, it works perfectly. But I'll uh, I'll send you the uh, app. I'll take a screenshot because I can't think of the name of it right now, but I'll send it to you. Right on. Well, thanks so much. It's been great. I'm gonna call it a night. Alrighty. Bye. -bye. Hello, friend. So I'm here on LinkedIn. This is like day three, maybe. 
and uh, this guy Jonas Barnes and it's so funny because I have a friend named Jonas Barnes who's a comedian in New York but this guy is a owns a studio digital and viral marketing and he's talking about Francis Ford Coppola he can't get a deal with a distributor just like me and there's no way to position the movie and uh, I said wow I'm in the same boat even predatory distributors don't want my stuff and he said Gra Gravitas and I said I've tried giving away my movies to many distributors but no one is interested yet I just want to reach an audience on TV and this guy Jonas Barnes says Shane Vozar just put it on YouTube and promote the hell out of it and I said insightful I reacted insightful so this guy is saying I should just put my movies on YouTube and promote the hell out of them and maybe that's not a bad idea a lot of people do watch YouTube on TV nowadays and uh, so maybe I can just get another viral hit on YouTube or something but thanks so much keep watching okay friends so that's the end of the movie um, basically I found out the information I needed to find out somebody who's very like influential and uh, a true professional just told me I should put my movies on YouTube and promote the hell out of them rather than try and go through a distributor like I've tried before and just nobody's interested in, in distributing my movies like trying to get them on uh, indie rights or uh, what's the other one film film hub so I, I thought I could just make a movie and then give away the rights and somebody would take the movie and submit it to film hub and then collect all of the ad revenue off of it but maybe uh, maybe the world's not ready for that kind of a deal yet I don't know I could be ahead of my time again and there'll be like all kinds of deals like that in the future where people make movies and give them away and then um, they reach a, a wide audience on TV I'm not sure but one thing I know like I've been inspired kind of last night and the other night about starting to do freelance work I was doing a live stream the other night and people asked me if they could commission a uh, art card and I told them I'd do it for 25 and uh, and then somebody else was requesting the makeup they wanted me to paint up and so that's something I could do freelance like I'd love to have a freelance gig where it's like I will make you a Mormo feature length training product vi feature length video product like say like I, like I honestly think I could do like for 40 I'll make you a feature length video product and you have the exclusive rights to it. I could work really cheap and then as my audience grows, just increase my prices and everything. But I think I could do a uh, 40 minute feature length video product for 40 bucks. 
and that would be one of my services. I could do a custom art card for 25 bucks. I could do, um, I could do an ad. I could do like, I'll make you an ad and put it in one of my Mormo movies. Rent out advertising space on one of my Mormo movies. But I'd like to be able to, um, and the reason why I want to do freelance work is so I have money to spend on my YouTube channel. Like, I can get paid on either Fiverr or Legit, but I'm really leaning towards Legit, and uh, which is a freelancing website I might work through. And uh, they have like. different gigs you could hire me for you could hire me for a custom art card for a feature length video product you could pay to have an ad in one of my movies I think those are the three gigs I'm thinking about offering and just start cranking out more feature length movies and just uploading them to YouTube and promoting the hell out of them and monetizing them. And, uh... So I'll prob- I, I plan on starting a legit store. I need to see if there's a course on how to sell on legit. Because they, they, they have courses too, and I could start selling courses on Legit. And then all of the money I would make, I would spend it on Legit. Like buying gigs that will help my channel and stuff. Promoting my movies and helping my movies. Like I could make more Africa movies or more... Um, Bangladesh, Mormo goes to Bangladesh and get like animations in my movies and uh, explainer videos in my movies. I just got to be careful not to jeopardize my partnership with YouTube. That's the only problem. I gotta protect my uh, YouTube partnership. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to, um, start freelancing next as a uh, filmmaker and uh, oh there's another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offer exclusive rights to my old live streams right now I probably have like over a hundred live streams that are privated on my channel and I'm going to start selling the rights to them where you can pay me like maybe six bucks and then I'll download one of those live one of those live streams I did in the past then delete it off of YouTube and then send you the live stream and then you could upload it to your own channel or upload it wherever you want and you just own the rights to that live stream and you can do whatever you want with it And I could offer that pretty cheap for sure, like six bucks to buy the rights to a live stream. And I would do that through legit as well. So the, cause like, I just want to do freelance work now. 
and uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through legit. I'm hoping I can find a course on how to sell on legit. I could probably search YouTube as well. They rejected my, legit rejected my picture. I used my picture from YouTube, my um, more, more old picture. And five, and five, and legit rejected it. Yep, and then I can look for work on LinkedIn as well. I can try and find work on LinkedIn. Well, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and um, I really appreciate you watching to the end. It helps me so much when you watch to the end. And if you thumbs up, then leave a comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell. Click the share button, share to uh, Twitter or something, I don't know, but like... You could share this this movie if you want. And uh, thanks so much for watching and have a great night.